Legal controversy surrounding Ken Paxton could open a door for Democrats in November. The race for the party's nomination for attorney general shapes up as a three-way battle. We partnered with Emerson College Polling and The Hill to poll Texas voters. The results show the race will likely lead to a runoff. Rochelle Garza leads the way with both Joe Jaworski and Lee Merritt in the hunt to make a runoff. Mike Fields and T-Bone Rayner trail in the single digits. 22% of Democrats told us they're undecided. The outcome on Tuesday will be shaped by where those undecided voters land. And as Monica Madden shows us, Garza wants Democrats to know about her background and her priorities for the AG's job. There is a real opportunity to restore integrity to the office. Civil rights lawyer Rochelle Garza says the virtue of the Texas Attorney General's office has been lost. Ken Paxson is divisive. He uses the office for divisive politics. We need to take it back to basics. Garza says her record of defending everyday people should be indicative of how she would run the office. So I have this experience of being able to to fight for, for folks from the ground all the way up. And the impact that judge her campaign video highlights a case she won before the US Supreme Court about a 17 year old who was denied abortion access when detained at an immigration center in Texas. She says this is proof that she would be a defender of reproductive rights for Texans. And with Roe at risk this summer, we're going to need someone like like that. We're going to need someone like me, a champion who knows how to fight these cases, knows how to ensure that we protect civil rights. Garza says pushing for decriminalizing marijuana would also be a priority. Uh, I've represented people in, in court that need to uh, defend a possession of marijuana case, practicing immigration, criminal defense, family, uh, constitutional law. And, and ensuring that we're protecting every single person. Monica Madden for State of Texas. A high profile civil rights attorney is also making his case to land the Democratic nomination for attorney general. Lee Merritt is known for representing families across the nation in cases tied to racial justice issues. Daniel Marin takes a closer look at his campaign. I'm a Dallas-based constitutional attorney. Lee Merritt says he's defended families from corporate discrimination, police violence, and racial injustice. Merritt's seen here hand-in-hand -hand with the mother of Ahmaud Arbery. In his bid for Texas Attorney General, the Democrat is putting voting rights at the forefront of his campaign. It's going to be my priority uh, to make voting easier in Texas, more accessible for all eligible voters. With a tricky path to victory for many Democrats across the state, Merritt says his team is focusing not on changing minds, but energizing the blue base. We need black and brown voters to be inspired to come out to the polls and a centrist message that's designed to um, catch possibly disgruntled Republican voters is a losing strategy. Instead, we need to be pushing towards our base, telling them that we're going to fight for the issues that they care about. As for the enduring influence of former President Donald Trump on Texas politics. In my practice, I've had the responsibility of meeting with Donald Trump on behalf of Texans. I brought a group of delegates to the White House. Our job is to uphold the Constitution, which is not necessarily a partisan issue. So where we can find agreement, we found agreement, which resulted in some executive orders that uh, would serve Texans. And, and where there's disagreement, I'm the kind of candidate that will fight for the people of Texas. Daniel Marine, State of Texas. The message of being a candidate for all Texans, not just Democrats, is a central part of Joe Jaworski's campaign. The former Galveston mayor spoke with Monica Madden about the ideas he says set him apart from the rest of the field. I'm supporting Joe because he's not indicted and he actually cares about us. Experience matters in the office of the Texas Attorney General. Democrat Joe Jaworski says his three decades of litigating makes him the best person to serve as Texas's chief lawyer. You're going to go up against some powerful interests, so you better have had a lot of experience in court. I'm asking for your vote. While Jaworski says he has the chops to win big cases, he wants to reframe the office with less focus on suing the federal government. We need an attorney general who's on the side of the people as a broad concept, as opposed to politically winning and losing and picking who the winner and loser is. Specifically, the trial attorney wants the AG's office to hold private health care insurance companies accountable. This is a way that we can help Republicans, Democrats, and independents alike. We'll use the attorney general's investigation powers, as well as litigation, to make them pay health care claims reasonably and on time. 
On a particularly partisan issue, the border, Jaworski says he wants practical, attainable solutions, like enlisting Texas's third-year law students and helping speed up asylum claims. When we do that, we will clear out the backlog and the border will be ours again. Monica Madden for State of Texas. He's run and won before as a Republican, but now he's changing teams. The reasons behind this candidate's move from red to blue.